Good morning. I was going to say it's Monday. It's not Monday. It's pretend Monday. It's Tuesday. Because yesterday was bank holiday. What is Oh, I thought there was something weird on my sofa. It's like there's nothing on my sofa. So what's that? It's that from my overhead camera thing. Like there seems to be some kind of robot sitting on the sofa. How bizarre. Right, yes, yeah, so it's Tuesday. And there's a lot of Ebays today. Um, when, oh, it's Tuesday, it's eBay, eBay payday. And then went, what the f? Because it's been Easter bank holiday weekend, which means that no payments have been processed. Uh, probably since Thursday so we're actually only getting Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday payments today so that's nice like not even half a week and not even like the good half of the week we're getting paid today and I've got 30 things going out it's fine it's fine Like it's just you know that's a pisser but it just means that there'll be more in the account next week for me to spend on stuff. Hooray! Oh, just in time for the shops to be open as well. Actually, no, because the shops open on Monday and I won't get paid it until Tuesday. Oh, eBay. Right, yes, yeah, so, like I said, I've got 30 things. Well, 29 things, or is it 30? A bunch of stuff going out today. Um, Hermes collected yesterday. It's like it's bank holiday Monday. What do you do? But it was a small child, which confused me for a moment. It's like you're not my regular Hermes guy. You seem to have shrunk and we've gone back in time, like magic. But he had the doodah thing and he scanned the parcels and they were right. And and then he left me the receipt thing. It's like, well done, small child, but. must yes confuse um funny reactions to my silver making jewelry video um because i i keep leaving people in cliffhangers and the comments are you at a bastard why i gotta i'ma come round and rip your it's like god people are so violent but it's nice to know that you care about what i'm making so Here's a little flashette. Oh, didn't it shine? Better add bloody shine because it's been ages freaking polishing it. It's not perfect, but then neither am I. Actually, no, I am. It's gonna look so pretty. You do that. You can't see this, but I'm playing around. fun anyway I should really get I've got a dentist appointment at half past ten booked a taxi for quarter past ten because you can't wait in the waiting room or anything you've got to wait outside and it's a bit chilly so I figure that's enough time to be stood outside for um and yeah so that's interesting Yeah, um, and other stuff to show you back in a second. Hold on, wait there, God. Hazumi, why are you looking all wild? Hey, I'm looking all wild. Where's your pink mouse gone? Where's pink mouse? Hazumi, Hazumi, why you get the pink mouse? Get the pink mouse. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Still a kitten. Oh, oh, Azumi, Azumi, Pink Mouse. <laughs> oh, you're rubbish. So Azumi was 14 years old on the 1st of April and she's still kittens. 
Are you gone, Beckett? No, you have me nice rub. Yes, that box is yours. Yes, definitely yours. She's in a wild mood. Probably because she sniffed a peppermint tea bag. She likes a peppermint tea bag. Ask me. Peppermint tea bag? So not right now, I'm already high. So I'm gonna do this. This is a test um, for hypothyroidism or just, you know, um, any kind of thyroid weirdness, I suppose. Okay. Right, so I need to know the date and the time. That might be a bit difficult. Um, Kelaladat. Kelaladat de ton anniversary. Um... The dat est uh, lundi le 6 avril. Uh, un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six. Ouais. Lundi le 6 avril. Uh, 7042.1 fasting sample. No, not particularly. Um, time o eight forty a.m. Okay, so I have to fill in that. That goes back in the box. This is what the little tubey tube goes into. The little blood sample. This has to go on the little tube because that'll have my blood in it. So again, oh seven oh four two one oh eight forty a.m. I'll put that on tube now. And I have to fill it up to the top line. Well, that's daft because it. Maybe I have to do it like a, like on a bread thing and, and have it go like that. There you go, that's what I'll do. Yes. Prep pad, stirring and cleansing wipe, dressings. Don't know why you need so many and I don't know why you need so many of these lancet things either. But I guess if you don't produce enough blood, you have to do it a few times. Pretty grim, isn't it? Would you like to watch? Okay. Do, 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 do. If you're squeamish, look away now. Cause I'm gonna take some blood. Be -de -be -de 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 -de. Right, which one was good before? I think I did that one before, didn't I? Give it a good old wipe. So that cleanses it. And then sterilize. Sterilize the area. Okay. One of these. I should really read the instructions for these ones because I haven't used this one before, I think. I think it's just... Right. Press the lancet down firmly on the site until your fingers... Oh, so you just press that on. Right. Okay. Actually, open up the tube first would be good. Oh, that's why you don't put that in first. Don't. Right, I'm doing that one. Okay, we'll try this again. Sorry if you're squeamish. Right. Hold upside down. Don't take the first drop of blood. Take the rest. Oh my God, actually, they want quite a lot of blood. 
Come on. Bleed your bugger. Come on. Grip. God. More difficult than last time. Come on, keep bleeding. Because it said wipe, maybe I shouldn't have wiped. It just said to wipe. Go on, in you go. Go on, go on. There we are. Come on, keep coming. See, I should have done this on the cut on my finger the other day. Two birds with one stone then, isn't it? Come on. Jeez. To the upper line. Okay, I see why they needed three lancets now. Because it's going to take a heck of a lot of blood. To fill this tube. Sorry, pretty grim. <laughs> right. I put it in the little baggy thing with that little thing that I had to fill out in the box. And then that goes into the baggy and seal that up and post it back. And then I should get like, within five days, I think it said, but they'll email me anyway. So there we go. Blood test done. Okay, weekend sales. Mum's on about making a bench because there's a pallet and she might as well make a bench. Isn't it, Mum? Yeah. Rather than buying one. Recycle. Yeah. And also because you just like making things, isn't it? Yeah. Let me. Yeah. Right, sales. A whole four pound on a, a spotty dress. Four pounds. But, you know. Four pounds I didn't have. Um, Eleven ninety nine on this Gerda Lingard style bracelet. A Marvel action hero witch blade. That's a girl in there. She's trapped. That went for seven pounds. Disney Winnie the Pooh nursery stuff. Shouldn't have bought this. I think I bought it for like a fiver, and it's gone for six ninety nine. Right. Um, it was like really like faded in bits. Never mind. Um, waistcoat, black waistcoat, like a leather type front, went for eleven ninety nine. A silver bangle. By the way, this is Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday sale. So if it's a lot, it's because it's four days worth. A silver silver bangle, seventeen pounds. A mother of pearl and rolled gold necklace went for $15.99 a Coro um, picture frame sort of it like it folds out pendant thing went for £18 a Swarovski pink butterfly there's a pink butterfly crystal in there went for $14.99 this retro Albert T bar kind of bracelet went for a tenner these two imps Went for four pounds, little Cornish imp charms. A Coca-Cola panel bracelet, quite odd. Never seen one before. Went for 18 pounds. That's good. Um, a sterling silver cross with amethyst. 
amethyst, amethyst, na 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 amethyst. There you go, that one. Uh, went for sixteen ninety nine. This ring and this art glass pendant necklace went for twenty two ninety eight. A French places bracelet, nine pounds fifty nine. It's like a tourist place like bracelet thingy this sterling silver with chakra bead uh, thing necklace went for 19.99 this disney trading pin went for a tenner that's figment the dragon mm. birdie's, having a drink. birdie's having a drink says mummy um this chunky rose shaped necklace went for 12.99 Two vintage pairs of earrings, little iris glass and then little uh, like green deco style fan, went for a total of $17.98. This 90s embroidered shirt, £8. Spawn Le Freak C'est Chic went for $11.99. Um, there's green quartz crystal i did check it to see if it was jade or like jadeite but it turned up as quartz went for seven pounds 19. this modernist style acorn pendant necklace 12.99 um this jimmy Choo for h m very sparkly bracelet uh went for 20 pounds to ian hello ian not northern ian to the ian which when I read it, it, it um, like I, I hear Yanto because Welsh and Yanto and Yanto Shrine and all that. Anyway, a Sabona um, cuff bangle. Um, oh, and his message is, uh, thanks Lex. It's so sparkly. I think I might have been a magpie in a previous life. I think you're one in this life too. Uh, yeah, the Sabona copper bangle, um, £6.39. A little sterling silver cross. 11.99 there's a uh, real opal but gold plated ring 7.99 malachite necklace 17 pounds 59 and a handmade steampunk style bug necklace 7.99 so i'm gonna see what i can package up in the next 45 minutes which is hopefully all of it because then i'm off to dentist yay well, annoyingly, um, can't actually get onto eBay to print off the labels, I'm guessing, because everyone is printing off postage labels this morning. So I've just, I've packaged them up anyway and just written their names on them. So I'll have to do that when I get back. So never mind, but at least they're, you know, nearly ready to go. And I'm nearly ready to go as well, because it's nearly time for me to go to dentist for some fun. All right, I've got a few minutes to kill before I, uh, I go in, I'm just having a sneaky peek in the charity shop windows and uh, that dress is awesome so I hope they open up uh, like next week because I want to buy that dress that is super cute yeah so we don't don't know if it's going to be open yet it's queues for the Halifax um, Emmaus looks like they're sorting out a bunch of stuff you can't really let me see, they got a whole pile of things in there. Um, but they won't open on Monday because they are closed on a Monday. So. I'll probably be down on the Tuesday to come and take a look if they are open. Looks like they're sorting stuff out in there. Let's have a little look see and see Ryder. Now they're definitely sorting stuff out in there. I think that's the manager in the window. Although expectancy rider to cut their prices anything is um, a miracle. It's got bunnies though, they're cute. Right, I guess I'd better go to my appointment. Yeah, and so a nice curly haired young gentleman just come up to me and goes, excuse me, uh, would you like Jesus Christ to uh, um, was it absolve you of your sins? And I just went, I'm all right, thanks. Yeah. He's like, oh, God bless you. And moved on. So yeah, there we go. It's all good. 
Right, this is where I've got to go. Uh, yay! Right, well, the verdict is um, to get an implant for the missing tooth. And um, and I said, like, look, I want I want nice looking teeth. So um, looks like I might be getting braces, but I've got to have an appointment with the orthodontist first to see whether to have braces and then bridge the gap or bridge the gap and then braces. So it's going to be fucking expensive, but uh, whatever. So here I am looking for the distilled water and um, I, I, I don't I don't think they have any. It's white spirit which I don't think will do the same thing. Certainly not with a blowtorch. So bugger. Well, I'm back home and just in time, because you probably can't see it and typically it's just sort of stopped, but it was a uh, sleet, nearly snow a second ago. It's absolutely freezing out there. So I'm just going to sit next to this radiator for a bit and, uh, and warm up. Right, let's warm up properly with a cup of coffee. Mm. Mum's just been to Tesco's for me and bought me some nuts. She got me dry roasted. I was like, don't get me the chili ones because I love the chili ones so much that I will just sit there and eat them all like in one go. So she got me the dry roasted, which is like, they're just not as nice as the chili ones. So I won't eat them all in one go. So I'm gonna have a few of them for lunch and a couple of slices of corned beef. She also got me some deionized water, which is more pure than distilled water. So hopefully that will, do the job and I've got some posts to open. The people in the know, they know what that pattern is or what uh, design designer has used some of that in their clothes and it will be no surprise to anyone really when I open this up. And you see that yet again, it's Vivian Westwood. Yes, I had an accident. Sorry. But you know, she would go out and, you know, make new clothes. Okay. Of course I had to get this t-shirt. True punk. Yes. Yes. Baby, of course. That's mine. I love it. I love it. Mm. Hm. I love it. <laughs> Obviously, it's going to be an expensive few months, what with me having brand new teeth and brand new Vivian Westwood lusciousness. Um, so I figure I should probably do some work. However, I have got eight boxes of unlisted necklaces and I think it would be advantageous to me if I sort them out into similar things so that I can bulk list quickly. So job do now to make quick later. I have got um, listings scheduled up until Thursday. so. You know, I'm good. I'm good. It's just, I think I would like to sort these out. It is snowing. Mum? Yeah? It is snowing. Is it? Yeah, it, 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 yeah, I just, honestly, I just, some just blew around. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah, anyway, so I'm going to sit and sort these out, maybe whack something on the telly. And, um consider doing some listing right having a coffee it's all done so we have got from the bottom there that is uh right modern beaded modern gold tone modern chunky silver tone and modern and um, not so chunky silver tone 
then at the bottom is vintage gold and silver tone separated out into different bags vintage plastic beaded vintage pearl crystal glass and amber and one empty one and then as i was sorting them i found this and i'm really pleased that i sorted and um because first of all i just thought that this was a glass necklace but on closer inspection look that is opal can you see Let's see if i can hold it up to the light a bit more can you see little bits of blue and green and pink and violet and yellow isn't that awesome absolutely love it there's a couple of chips in there and it's a little bit dirty but it's super cool i'm really glad i found that And so in the formerly empty one, I've put in things I'm going to list next. So in there is a bunch of silver tone necklaces that are going to be my Friday and Saturday night auctions. So because they're all silver tone necklace, I can do a rough draft for that and duplicate it 15 times. Hooray. And there's my drafts done. That'll do for work for today, won't it? Yeah. And that'll have to do for the vlog today as well. Because I'm not going to do much else. Having chicken fajitas for tea. That's about it. Uh, as you can see, uh, I or maybe as you might have noticed, I haven't done any work on my silver pendant today. Uh, that's because the next stage is a bit of blow torching. And I want to do that outside. And it is a little bit too... Uh, wet and snowy and cold and everything out there so hopefully tomorrow will be a better day so sorry to keep you guys on tinted hooks but um you'll just have to wait a little bit longer yeah anyways until probably tomorrow depending on the weather uh bye bye now bye bye